Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Heinz Gaming here bringing you another Battlefield 3 commentary and before I start I would just like to say that I am a new TGN uh, FPS director and I hope that you guys enjoy my videos. I'm going to be coming out with quite a few now that Battlefield 3 is out and I just kind of want to introduce myself. So uh, my name is Kyle. Uh, I've been playing Battlefield since Battlefield 2. I played Battlefield 2142 obsessively. I, I almost was never off that. That was my entire early high school career was Battlefield 2142. Uh, I didn't really play Bad Company that much purely because uh, it didn't have the Battlefield feel to me. But now that Battlefield 3 is out, it's the most hyped game ever. I can't wait to get really into it. And <laughs> I already have like 12 hours play time and it's only been out for a couple days. But anyway, uh, that's, who, that's who I am. If you have any questions, uh, for whatever reason, I don't, I don't think you will, but if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to message me on my channel or comment in the video or whatever I don't know <laughs> it's up to you guys but in this video I'm gonna be giving you guys a little bit of a commentary slash impressions of what I think as a avid Battlefield fan this game actually is so in this clip you're seeing right now it's one of my better lives of these last two days it's on Caspian border 64 player conquest I am playing as support on the Russian team and it's gonna center around the gas station here and I'm gonna make extensive use of C4. So while you're watching this clip, uh, I guess I'll talk about uh, the support class in general. I've played all the classes so far, majority of my time being spent on support, and I think all the classes are very well balanced. I think that if I were to choose the most powerful class at the moment, it'd probably be, uh, probably be the support if you know how to use it, because you can take out any vehicle with the support class, except helicopters and jets, but I, I primarily play on the ground, so I mean that C4 is such a powerful asset to me, allowing me to take out tanks and vehicle carriers. And you see there, my gun just tears apart infantry as is. But support is definitely the most utility class, I think. You can replenish your team's ammo, take out vehicles. Uh, the second most powerful class probably going to be engineer, just for the fact that you can keep those vehicles up and you can destroy the vehicles and you can place AT mines if you want to forego your use of the wrench so it's kind of a give and take there but so definitely most powerful support in my opinion second most powerful engineer with assault and recon still being powerful not being under power, underpowered by any means but just not having as much as much uh, what's the word I'm looking for I'm looking for a word here as much uh, usefulness as the other two classes because Right now, I've noticed that a lot of Assault classes don't have the Defibrillator, which is one of the reasons why I'd even play the Assault class, is to revive people. And Recon, well, to be honest, I hate Recon, but it still is a good class because you can take out enemies from a distance, you can uh, spot, spot tanks, uh, enemy infantry, what have you. So that's kind of my breakdown on the classes. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, moving on to... Uh, some of the equipment that I have I've noticed uh, that is either underpowered or overpowered. The C4 is definitely my favorite piece of equipment to use, and I think it's fairly I think it's fairly balanced because although it can take out a tank, and of course if you're playing C, uh, support, you basically get an infinite supply with ammo. But if you're using C4, you see there I have to stay there for a while to actually put the C4 on the tank. I have to get close to the tank. That gives the tank itself time to shoot me. That gives an enemy around the tank that's on the ground time to shoot me. So it's powerful, but it's definitely a give and take because I could die at any second because I'm totally exposed. I have to run up to the tank. So, I mean, C4 is powerful, but you're exposed. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, my next favorite piece of equipment is probably, I would have to say, the... Uh, I just got killed there, moving on to some jet footage. I primarily use, after C4 the mortar and I know I get a lot of, of comments on this on my channel from mortar gameplay that I have posted oh, the mortar is overpowered, uh, the mortar is uh, this and that, uh, cancel my game, uh, I'm gonna break my disc, mortar, mortar, boo hoo, boo hoo, well ladies and gentlemen the mortar is not that bad. I say this because one, accuracy decreases drastically the further away from your target you are so you can't really sit in your base during rush and take out an enemy because it's so inaccurate so but that's balanced out by the fact that you do have unlimited ammo you can be relatively safe and those mortars are relatively powerful but I think that that accuracy decrease 
is so in insane that there's no real overpoweredness to the mortar. I, I, I know I'm going to have a lot of people disagree with me on that point, but I don't find the mortar being as powerful as everyone says it is on the forums. So that's my point of view on the mortar. If you want to disagree with me, go ahead and leave something in the comments and we can have a civil discussion about it, but I still think you're wrong. So moving on uh, to vehicles, because those, those two pieces of equipment are really the only pieces of equipment I've used so far. Moving on to vehicles, I think that DICE really nailed it on this. I'm going to get a lot of flame for this too, I understand that, but I think DICE really did well with the vehicles. I think that the helicopters are absolutely 100% better than they were in the open beta. I think that the jets were 100% better than they were in the open beta. They are a little more powerful with their main machine gun, and I think that, to be honest, they are a more all-around tool that can be used on the battlefield because one, they can actually take out infantry now. They do a little more damage to actual... I'm talking about jets here, by the way. They do a little more damage to ground vehicles, and they still can take down air-to-air... -air. They, they still have air-to-air -air combat functionality. That's That was kind of their, their only thing they could do in open beta. They still have it in retail. So basically, the jets have improved, the helicopters, drastically more health, drastically more power. I think their handling is about the same, but still, those two things alone, power and health, definitely make up for the shortcomings that were in open beta. So those two air vehicles definitely 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 more powerful than they were in open beta definitely balanced and yeah so but ground vehicles i haven't got a real chance to use the ground vehicles that much purely because i'm either in the air or on the ground as the support class so jeeps i mean nothing really you can say about them the only thing i don't like is you can't shoot through the windows on the armored humvee i don't like that at all but uh, I can I can live with that. It's not game breaking. Tanks I think they're perfect. I think they're they're pretty much powerful if at a range. And then when you get up close to them with C4, they can be easily taken out. I think that's exactly how it should be, because no one vehicle absolutely dominates. Jets don't dominate. Helis don't dominate. Tanks don't dominate. APCs don't dominate. So I mean, it's balanced, and I like that. I don't find a tank absolutely demolishing the entire enemy team because that's on how it's supposed to be, and I think DICE did a very good job on that. So that's kind of my basic recap uh, in these uh, 8 minutes and 30 seconds, I think this video is, uh, on vehicles, equipment, and the classes. i probably leave a lot out, but this is a really short, just kind of first look, because I've only played for a day and a half, first look commentary on how I think the game is stacking up. And to be honest, in conclusion, I think this game is going to be a very good game, and I think it's going to have some staying power that a lot of people didn't think it would have, and I think it will have some staying power. I'm looking forward to all the community events, the ladders, with my clan, and making more Battlefield 3 videos because I absolutely love doing it. So in this last clip, kind of fun, uh, just wanted to put that out there for you guys, but this is Heinz Gaming, and <laughs> I'm so happy to be a TGN director. I'm going to go kill this APC right here, but I'm so happy to be a TGN director, and it's because of viewers like you that give me this chance. So. Thank you very much. This is Heinz Gaming, signing off.